How are you doing? My name is Keith Lindsay, and I'm here to present ShareFile, Creating Document Workflows. So a document workflow is a really important piece of a company's solution. They, with a, our API, you can create some really powerful tools with, based around the workflow. So documents are not static things. They're always moving. They're always being edited. You have different people collaborating on them. So file storage is really just the beginning of a document's life cycle. You have a user who put the document up into ShareFiles Cloud, and that can get spread around to several other people who can then edit it, put it back up, um, change it however they want. Uh, by creating mashups with a file storage system like ShareFile, you can create a really lot, a lot of powerful workflows. And our API, our new V3 API, has a lot of capabilities that really give you secure and safe data. So our first issue is how do you connect, create a connection to your on-premise storage system? And my associate, Giuliano, will be presenting this issue. All right, thank you. Thank you, Keith. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is, is present the, you know, how do you browse files, how do you um, uh, homogeneous, uh, have a homogeneous access through our API to data sources that are both on-prem and in the cloud using share file or connectors that you deploy on-premise? And how do you share this, uh, these documents? How do you create workflows to send or receive files uh, just like um, Keith described before, okay? So for that, I'm gonna use a tool that we've written using our V3 API. Uh, this tool uh, will be available in GitHub, so it's uh, open source. You can look at this tool yourself. And um, you can uh, be able to, to use these concepts that I'll show here to integrate with your workflows, your applications. So to begin with, uh, let me just run the command to start the demo. So this is, this is um, a tool to help uh, drive PowerShell scripts, but the demo is live and this, uh, the, everything that I'm gonna show here is actually happening, happening in the back end. So the first thing, I'm gonna add the, um, oh, where is that? There you go. Good. All right. So, uh, I, can you make one screen? Minimize this. No. Okay. So the first thing is uh, I will uh, create a new client. So ShareFile uses OAuth authentication. So every time you log in to ShareFile, you have to go through a web authentication flow and you receive OAuth tokens back that you save, then you can use it again. So if you have, you have a script, you can save the OAuth tokens to, to bypass the Webflow authentication. Uh, there are also ways that you can log in providing username and password, but the Webflow is really your primary way to do integrations because it works with things like um, um, ZenMobile, uh, forms-based authentication, things like that. So if I, in, in this tool, when I, when I uh, say um, create a new client, I actually going through the share file authentication flow like this. So if I had a SAML provider, you would see the SAML login prompt here. So I'm, I'm not gonna log in this way, I already saved those OAuth tokens. So instead I'm gonna use uh, OAuth token that I already saved using this command here called get SF client. So uh, with that, I log in in my account, labs.sharefile.com. So the first thing, uh, the ShareFile API uh, uses this concept of entities. So one of the uh, important entities we have is users and groups. So you'll be able to use API to create your users, create groups, assign permissions of these users to our folders. Um, you can also use um, a tool that we have, uh, a tool that we have that, um, uh, that copies information from Active Directory called user, user management tool. So you can have the, your AD groups and users reflected to the ShareFile API and then you can use the API to manage the permissions to your folders and files. Let me uh, just uh, do this a bit, hang on. There, okay. All right, next. Uh, so the next key concept is how do you start navigating in, in the ShareFile uh, folder infrastructure? So how you log in, how you get to the user home folder. So we have this API that retrieves 
uh, the, the folders that you see when you log into ShareFile, the shared folders, the user home folder, and the connectors. So in this case here, I use an API to enumerate the home folder of this user, okay? So I can now list the files that are present in that account. So if I go back to uh, my ShareFile account over here, uh, you see that the folder the folder structure that was returned in that call is the same one that is represented here when you log into sharefile.com, okay? So you can use the API to show the same information you have in the, in the website. So how do you create elements? So uh, it's a RESTful API design. So we use uh, HTTP operations using JSON uh, 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 content bodies. So you can, for example, create a folder using an API like that. that um, it translates to a HTTP post call uh, passing the, the folder in the, in the body, okay? So now I create a new folder under that home folder. So if I go back to my uh, share file account and refresh, you see that the new folder I created is here, zero demo, demo folder one, okay? Which is the folder I created here, okay? So that's how you create elements uh, through the API. So next, for example, I can uh, get elements by name like this. And I can get also versions of these elements as well. So uh, in, the, in our API, we have this concept of a file and a file stream. The file stream is all the versions of that file. So you can access the previous versions of these files by accessing the file stream. So I can here, show here that I have two versions of this file, okay? And uh, if I go back to my um, share file account and navigate to that folder, you see that I have uh, two versions here. So again, it represents the same, the same uh, things that you see on the web, you can uh, access through the API. All right, so creating, navigating, browsing. The next uh, uh, very important things from the ShareFile API is to share, right, to create workflows around this, this concept. So if uh, this object in our API is called a share, and there are three, three kinds of shares. You can create a share that always goes to the latest version of a stream, right? That if you update the file, the, the, the contents of the share is also updated. So that's, that's the API call that I'm, I'm making here. So it creates this, uh, this share with a URI, your, URL. If you paste this URL in a browser, as such, uh, the recipient of this share would get to the, uh, the document I sent, and uh, I can use the website then to view the document, which is a high fidelity rendering of the document I sent, okay? So if I updated this document, it would also update this, uh, the same link. So this is convenient for uh, putting links into document systems that need to be updated when the file is updated. You also have a chance to create a link that is to a specific version of the file. So in this case, I make a sim very similar call, but instead of sending uh, uh, to the latest version of the file, you always stuck to, to a particular version, meaning uh, this is convenient, for example, for a sign-off or uh, any kind of workflow where you do not want new versions to, to uh, override the link. And finally, there is a third type of sh share that we call a request share. So in this case, instead of sending a file, you'll be sending an upload form to a person so they can send files to you. So uh, in this case, I created this share through the API. And if I paste this to the browser, how am I doing with time? Okay. So if I paste this on the browser, so this will be the recipient of that URL, he will see this page, which is uh, just like our upload page. And uh, if I choose a file here, for example, like this, and upload, uh, we should see in share file, it's my share file. Uh, you should see the new file uh, created here in the, in the folder that I selected, okay? So these are the three uh, key uh, workflows for working with files. Sending uh, latest versions, sending a specific version, or requesting documents for, from your recipient. All right, so let me go back to the demo. So the next thing I wanna do is talk about connectors. So everything that I show here is using ShareFile as the backend. However, you can do all the things I showed um, also using network share, SharePoint sites, and other document systems that you can actually create through our uh, connector SDK. So for example, uh, 
now I'm going to log into a, to a different Sharefile account. And I'm going to use the PowerShell provider to mount that folder structure to this, this uh, PowerShell. So I can navigate, instead of uh, navigating uh, through IDs, I can actually navigate like I would with a file system. This is also using our API behind. It's, a, a sim, uh, it's the same uh, PowerShell provider. So I, I'm going to list, the, this is the, the contents of my uh, Sharefile account. Okay. So for example, I can list uh, the Sharefile folder, juliano.maldaner at citrix.com. It has a bunch of files. However, I can, also, um, I can also use the same API to browse through a connector that, that in this case is a network share. So if I say, uh, give me the contents of this network share, what the provider will do is, is put up this prompt here, which is, a, is an authentication prompt. Why is that? It's because the connector actually lives on-prem. So my authentication to share file is not sufficient to access my on-prem resources. I need a, a enterprise authentication to access the files. Okay. Hmm. I think I made a mistake on the authentication. Okay. Oh. Let me try a different uh, partial session. Okay. Okay. Let me try that again. Yes, I think this uh, has some hiccup on the network maybe. Right. So I'm going to stop for here. But uh, the key concept here is that uh, the same API that you can access share file, you can do uploads, download, create folders, everything also on your network share. I think I, I hit some, some kind of issue with my uh, on-premise network. But um, we'll, uh, we can do a follow-up demo in a, in a different video. Thank you. Thanks for that. So now that we've been able to show you how to create a connection to an on-prem solution, we have another demo. We're creating file syncs with a share file API. So you want to obviously keep your local files synced across all of your devices. Um, and so this is something you can do with our API, which is a great feature. So you have all your files in share file, and you can just create a script that automatically syncs all your data from your, from your share file account down to your local. Um, this really helps keep all your files ready to go. Any edits you make, across all, it goes to all your devices. And the real nice thing here is when you take what Giuliano talked about in creating connections to your on-premise storage or everything, creating share files, your central hub for all of your data, you can combine both of these to create a sync to your local storage. So you can always have your project in SharePoint, and you can sync it down to your local system, and edit all your files, put it back in SharePoint, and it's a great project workflow for your, for your business. So that's all we have today. Um, this is, here's our uh, wrap-up slide. You guys can uh, check out, out developer.sixtricks.com for more information. Um, and if you'd like to uh, fill out a survey, we have a link for that too. Uh, thank you guys for uh, coming.